Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of, of Life in Metaphysics. It's cold outside and it's raining really bad. So I put on my jacket so I don't catch no hypothermia so I can keep making videos. <laughs> Today we're going to discuss a sign that's pretty popular in the Santeria religion. It's Odibara. It's a sign of indecision. Now, indecision is could be as simple as not knowing if you want chicken or beef for dinner or it could be as complicated as not knowing if you want to be with this partner or this partner. So sometimes starting off with basic decision making is better than ending up going crazy because you can't decide on what's best for you. Our own minds are our worst enemy when it comes to decision making. So many times we'll sit there and we'll say, well, I think that this works because of this, but then there's these advantages and these disadvantages. Sometimes it's easy to make a chart. When I find myself in this situation, I'll go ahead and make a chart of pros and cons and I'll say, okay, you know, this situation works because of this, that, and the third, but then there's this, which is, you know, reasons why I shouldn't deal with this and remember to always keep your charts accurate 10 years ago may have been different than today so the reality of the past may be very different than the reality of the future so let's always keep that in mind well the the, the path of indecision says the peony doesn't know whether to be black or to be red the peony is the original seed the original uh, necklace of Alegua. so many times when you pull the sign the uh, Orisha priests or the Santero or the Babalaos will tell you to go pick up a necklace made of peony seeds, which are little seeds that are red and black. And uh, you go ahead and you wear it around your neck and it's just a reminder to say, hey, make solid decisions. Don't walk on the fence. The fence is meant for cats, not for humans. So you have to decide black, white, chicken, beef, this person or this person. Is this friendship worth, keep, worth keeping or is it you know better to just cut things off or is this job worth working on or should I go ahead and move somewhere else because I've reached you know the top and I'm not gonna go anywhere else with this that's where that is Odibana talks about matrimony it's a signal where it's a sign that signals it's time to get married it's time to make things a little bit more official I've been with this person for such a long time and maybe it's time to make things a little bit more official maybe it's time for you to start looking for a permanent partner and start and stop playing the field because maybe your happiness does come from building a household and having a family and doing something a little bit more formal as opposed to the life that you've been leading <coughs> Odibara says <coughs> the fastest route is a straight and narrow um, you know, we always look for alternatives and saying, well, if we do it this way, this can work. If we do it that way, that can work. No. Let's do things right. Let's get normal jobs. Let's try to live our life as, as regular and as, you know, formal and as, I don't know, as straight as we can do it instead of us having to be hustling and running around and, you know, trying to trying to find that easy money and that that little game where it's like, hey, you know, let me do this and hope for the best. It's better for you to have something that's assured than the possibility of something that can happen in the future. So, I mean, let's just make more solid, concrete, decisive decisions. So that way we're not stuck later on wondering if, wondering, whatever. And we got to trust ourselves because at the end of the day, we have a higher self that guides us. And if we sit there and we say, no, I don't know, the higher self, our higher self, our instincts put in a thought into our head. And they help us rem remember things and they rec help us recognize things so we know that we're on track. But if we question every little thing that comes into our mind, and we sit there and we're constantly fighting with ourselves, we're not gonna get anything accomplished. So let's start making more solid decisions, moving forward, so that, that way things can open up better for us and we can have 
a better future, a better destiny, and a better better growth in all aspects of, of who we are. All right? Please subscribe, like, check out my videos, look at the other videos that I've done. Every single video analyzes the signs in a very superficial way, a very simple way. It's just, I'm not here to teach you, you know, the in-depth college definitions of the signs, but I do want you to get an idea of what the signs mean so that that way you're able to learn from them and learn from the teachings that the Tilogum has to offer. Okay? All the best and hope to see you soon. Please subscribe, please like, and if you have any comments, go ahead and leave them below. All right? God bless.